Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Can I go to hell, yeah! Yeah, reporting live from my bathroom today. I wanted to do a little first impressions and a uh, little review of Pharrell's skincare line, Human Race. I hear that it is restocking today. I'm gonna be doing this with my grill then because Pharrell does all his skincare stuff with his grill then. Well, I'm a huge Pharrell fan. He's been such a trendsetter and just always somebody who is very comfortably themselves. Started a whole culture, really. I might have been like 16, 17, I don't remember. I saw his skin in real life. They were launching a BBC Billionaire Boys Club in this clothing store in Vancouver and I waited in line and I remember I was so nervous. I wanted to keep it light and friendly and I remember I saw this interview MTV Japan and he kept being like one blow hot the whole time so me being very cringy and embarrassing I went up to him and I was like one blow hot he's like what I'm like you know like an MTV Japan uh, and he's like ha 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 how'd you see that I'm like I don't know I look for stuff I got him to sign my LG chocolate phone as soon as I put it in my pocket in a day it had rubbed off so it was a cool experience and just letting you know that I saw his skin in real life and he glows human race so I wanted to kind of break it down and look at the products from a consumer perspective and somebody who tries a lot of skincare and learn about it. But I have this little card with what the stuff does. We're gonna do it on ourselves. I'm gonna be festive and put this in my hair as my scrunchie. Let's get into it. It says take care of your skin, take care of your family, take care of your people, take care of our planet. That's super cool. When I've been watching him on live with Dr. Elena Jones, who is a black dermatologist that he's had for a very long time from New York, who developed the line with him. It sounds like he's talking to people as if he loves them and they talk about how they love the products. And I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into what they do and function. And if I think it's tight, I've seen some doctors or dermatologists who have YouTube channels to review it but I have no attention span for doctor talk a little bit although I respect it and if that's for you that's great but I just want to know hey is it hella tight what's it gonna do and let's move on so anyways I'm talking too much now so let's get into these products this is super cool but it looks like there is some I think it's called braille if you are visually impaired you can uh, see what you're using here on the side that's cool. I've never seen that on skincare before. Let's see what the little thing says. So first of all, they're all refillable. I think it's supposed to be very environmentally friendly, which goes back to what it said on the package there, like take care of the earth, I think. Take care of our planet. So this is the routine pack, a three minute facial. Keep this card to guide you through your daily human race skincare routine. Okay, so step one, rice powder cleanser. So when I first heard that, I was thinking of the Tatcha Rice Exfoliator, but this is a cleanser, so a transformative powder to foam cleanser that brightens and hydrates the skin, dissolving excess oil, makeup. That was one thing I was wondering about is if this would remove makeup. I'm just gonna get a long wearing liner and put it on my face and we're gonna see if it takes it off. So I think I'll just do a little bit of foundation. Honestly, probably the easiest thing to get off, so I probably didn't even need to do that, but I've got a lip pencil, liquid liner, will draw heart. Cool. I just did this really quick to see how it's gonna take makeup off. So micronized rice powder and fruit AHAs add gentle exfoliation to your daily cleanse, leaving skin soft, supple, and balanced. So you're supposed to wet hands, shake a coin size amount of powder into palm, rub hands together to create a rich foam lather, and then massage in gentle circles over face to cleanse. Rinse with lukewarm water, repeat morning and night. Okay, so I have pretty sensitive skin. Gentle exfoliator, I understand. I'm gonna see how it feels, but I can't exfoliate that often. So I probably maybe just do this at nighttime like we are right now. But this is interesting because a lot of uh, skincare lines create like a moisturizer, serum, and cleanser or cleanser, toner, moisturizer. But this is like two things that you wash your face with kind of and a moisturizer. So like I said, first impressions. Also, I think this is such a happy color. So pretty. Green's my favorite color, by the way. So rice powder cleanser. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, looks like a giant lip balm. So I just wanna see how you take this apart to refill it. Okay kind of like Spenty Skin is doing their kind of recycling thing too and uh, refillable products. So this is cool. I've, I mean, 
I can't see this spilling or getting moisture in with the closed top, but you do have to, you know, do a little about that, which is fine. Let's try this out. Oh, it looks like it's taking off the makeup. I can definitely feel that it is exfoliating. Going back to how the uh, Tatcha Rice Brand cleanse or exfoliator or whatever, this feels very different because this feels almost grainy and it lathers and then it kind of like goes away. But this is definitely exfoliating. I don't think that I would use this as a makeup remover because it feels like an exfoliator, like a really mild exfoliator. So I wouldn't put it in my eyes because it has a kind of a grainy feel, but I'd maybe do like makeup remover on your eyes and then do the rice exfoliating cleanser everywhere else. Wow. I will say right away, hella smooth like real smooth. It's supposed to not strip your skin too much. I'm just gonna see if I feel like I have a little bit of flexibility after cleansing. Again, as somebody who has like more sensitive skin and wears a shit ton of makeup, I wouldn't put it around your eyes just in case those little grains get in there. I don't think that'd be fun or fresh, but my skin feels so smooth. I love an immediate result type of vibe. And actually my skin kind of looks glowing and there's nothing on it. I'm not getting that super tight feeling, but damn, it feels really good. This I would say for my fellow dry and sensitive skin sisters and brothers out there, maybe once a day, but I don't know. Like I said, this is a first impression, so I will try it twice a day and I'll circle back and let you guys know what I think, but holy crap, my skin feels like a baby smooth right now. Yes. I like that. So far, I really like this. I would avoid the eye area. So this has fruit AHA, snow mushroom, and geranium. I can't stop touching my skin. It just feels so nice. Step two. So this is the Lotus Enzyme Exfoliator, a triple action exfoliator that combines 8% glycolic acid with enzymatic and physical exfoliants to brighten and revitalize the skin. So cool. So a little bit more of like a chemical exfoliator as well as um, actual physical things that scrub yo my skin feels smooth whoa okay visibly improving tone and texture so I'm guessing it brightens an even skin tone which I'm finding as I'm getting older I'm getting freckles and I love freckles but I also want to make sure that I keep loving them because I didn't always have them so I don't know if they'll morph into like dark spots or age spots with antioxidant lotus leaf and hydrating apple extract this gentle powerful formula promotes complexion renewal gently massage two to three pumps of exfoliator and circular motions on clean damp skin avoiding the eye area rinse with lukewarm water exfoliate two or three times weekly adjusting routine for your skin's response so if i am routinely exfoliating i'll do it about once a week because i'm sensitive um and i forget but like i said these are the guidelines by frelin a dermatologist dr lena jones so i'm giving you my opinion a dermatologist is giving you an opinion and frel with magical skin is giving you an opinion you know your skin the best so do what feels right but like I said even with the cleanser like I don't, I'm not a dermatologist so I don't know if you can use it twice a day she says you can he says you can but I'm just giving you my opinion nobody asked but here it is anyways so let's try this so this is the refill I just took, a, took it apart here so I guess you buy the the green and it stays like that and then you just replace the inserts and they're really easy to take out I guess you just unlock it and then lock Okay, so this is one, two, three. Cute little cloud of product there. Scoop. I don't visibly see the exfoliator parts, but all right, let's try it. Interesting. I feel the chemical exfoliator. The Dark Spot O2H toner by Ulla Henriksen has that same tingle. Someone said in their comments when they first used it, it was burning and then once you kind of get used to that feeling, she said it politely sting, politely tingled after. So this is kind of what that feels like. So just give your skin a moment to see if you are having like a reaction or if you are getting that tingle of the enzyme exfoliation. So this actually feels less exfoliating than the cleanser but the cleanser doesn't have the uh, chemical exfoliator in it even though it might not feel as grainy you don't really feel enzyme exfoliators except for that tingle oh geez I'm pretending I don't have a five head over here I totally forgot about it I like this I'm wearing a toque 
trying to see if they put the essence of eternal youth in here from Pharrell. Feels good though, it feels almost like a cream balm, like uh, what you remove your makeup with. Dang, this feels very gentle and very nice. I'm gonna rinse it off. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Can I just tell you how my skin just feels happy right now? Oh my God. It feels really smooth. Usually when you cleanse, I just expect to feel, okay, my skin's clean, maybe it's getting tight. I don't know, but my skin feels baby soft. <sighs> this has glycolic acid, fruit AHAs, so good, which is what you use to kind of have that enzyme or chemical exfoliator. Not chemical as in bad, like for example, like papaya has got a lot of enzymes in it that help to digest. And just like these fruit AHAs, I guess it smooths this. I feel like, you know those people that be at a party and they're at a rave and they're like, oh my God, my skin feels so great. Like that's how I feel without partying. It's really smooth feeling. Like I feel like a weirdo because I just want to touch my skin because it feels like a baby's butt cheek. Pleasantly shook. Now this is the thing that I've been the most excited about because I'm like, ah, cleanser, is it gonna strip my skin? Am I gonna have a reaction to it? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm so dumb. The reason why I said interesting is because I read it, it said wet your hands and apply it, and I was like, I've never seen a cream where you need to wet your hand and apply it, but it's not, it's a cleanser. So let's move on. Human rice humidifying cream. So that's what we got here. Oh, it just, okay, so I guess you just replace this part. It probably has like, you know what, knowing me, this is gonna spill everywhere and I bought this, so I don't wanna mess it up, but it seems like it has the same like click and release thing to take out the middle part, but this is what it looks like. These are actually pretty big. So what's this say? Snow mushroom, squalene, hydrate, adapt, and soothe. Ooh. Yes. I just cleanse and exfoliate it and my skin doesn't feel tight, so impress. Gently massage cream onto clean skin for a balanced hydration that adapts to your new unique skin type. Interesting. Apply evenly to face and neck, morning and night. Let me see what it says on this paper. A cushioning moisture cream that mimics the complexion benefits of humidity. Oh, and this is genius too because when I go to Miami or LA or Vegas, they have different kind of climates. When I'm in Miami and it's so humid there, like my skin is just a whole different, I'm like, who is this? I'm hydrated, I'm dewy. Drier places like Vegas or LA, I definitely need to amp up the moisture, especially in winters here in Canada where it's cold. Totally different skincare than what I'd be doing in the summers here even. So this is cool. It adapts to your complexion benefits of humidity, delivering the dynamic hydration that adapts to your skin's unique needs. That's cool and I want to learn more about that. Again, this is a first impression. So once I kind of figure it out more and the ingredients and there's more information, I'll update you. But so far, just by feeling, delish. So that's another thing. It's great to use all natural products, um, but if you have a mushroom allergy, I think that's really important to know that there is mushroom in it. That's what happens with me. Like I want to use a lot of skincare, but there's almond oil in it or something. And um, I, I'm allergic to almonds, so I can't use it. Ooh, bitch, this feels good. I will have to also update you on this, on whether this works well underneath makeup, because it feels very hydrating because I, I wear makeup and a lot of you are here because of makeup, so. I'm out here making love to my face with this skincare right now. I like to be making myself feel like I have eyebrows by pushing them up. I'm actually gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes and come back and let you know, because I can't just put on moisturizer and be like, wow, because it's not like an exfoliator, or cleaner, or whatever. I wanna let it sit for a second, see how my skin feels, I'll be right back. Okay, so I let it sit for about 10 minutes and it feels like it's totally absorbed into my skin and I feel like I have been drinking water all week and hydrating all week really well. Like it feels really good and I feel like this texture is definitely safe for underneath makeup. Um, right when I put it on, it felt very hydrated. Even my hands feel very baby soft. The uh, pads in my hands feel super baby soft after putting that on, crazy. Feels really good. I would be shook when they come out with some body products, but it feels really nice. Very impressed. So that's my first impressions and unboxing of the Human Race by Pharrell Skincare Line. I am really shook about how smooth my skin feels. As kind of a recap, again, like I feel skincare always has better reviews when you kind of use it over a period of time. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more, but one thing I really look for in skincare 
is immediate results and I feel like I fully get that with this line. Like right away, as you saw, I was like rubbing my face the whole video. I am really into brightening and evening products, evening products, which I currently already use. Like I said, with the cleanser, I'm gonna try it morning and night and see how I feel about it, to see if my skin feels sensitive or if it is gentle enough to use both for my skin type. The exfoliator is friggin' bomb. I'm gonna see how that works and I'll write in the comments how it feels tomorrow morning when I wake up. And the humidifying cream feels delicious. Like it actually doesn't feel oily or sweaty at all. It feels definitely more just like my skin is plumped. Like it's just sucking in all the moisture that I put on it. I can definitely feel it, but it doesn't feel like I have like a rich, creamy, oily moisturizer on my skin. So also recyclable, sustainable, uh, vegan, if I didn't mention that, but it feels really freaking good. I'm excited to continue to use it and see how I like it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys are going to pick up any of the products. I think the whole line works really well together and I don't think that I would bump out anything or say anything is better than the other I haven't spent enough time with it, but I'm definitely really excited about the exfoliator and cleanser. I have a really hard time with exfoliators because they can be too harsh on my skin, but I don't have any rosiness or anything, so I really like it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.